1963 Oscars. I have to say, that's when things took such an ugly turn. Not that everything was sunshine and lollipops up until then, but it was the Academy Awards that year when it became the point of no return for both Betty and Joan. I truly believe that the ladies would put aside their natural, personal enmity, but there were so many people who profited from them being at each other's throats. The studio, the publicity people, and of course, the columnists. I know, firsthand. Unscrupulous reporters did everything they could to sow hatred between myself and my own sister. The actress Joan Fontaine is your younger sister? Well, she's not that much younger, but yes. So there is no feud between you two? A feud implies continuing hostile conduct between two parties. I can't remember an instance where I instigated hostile behavior. You refused to speak to her backstage after your 1947 Oscar win? You're referring to that photo of me in Photoplay magazine. I wasn't turning my back on my sister in that photo. I just didn't see that she was there. It's hard to imagine the pressure the Academy Awards puts on one. Which brings us back to Betty and the other Joan. When it all started, I remember with the nominations. And understandably, Joan was hurt because she was snubbed. Unfortunately, dear Betty wasn't about to offer her any solace. But Joan, being a fighter, wasn't about to let one tiny detail like not being nominated push her out of the limelight. The very day of the nominations, Joe marched herself down to the Motion Picture Academy and demanded to see Mr. Wendell Corey, the president of the Academy. Mr. Corey, Joan Crawford's headed this way and she's not slowing down. Joan, I can promise you the vote tally is beyond reproach. The people at Price Waterhouse are honest to a fault. Wendell, I'm confident under your stewardship that everything here at the Academy is above board. I wish all the worthy nominees good luck and Godspeed. I'm here to offer my services. As it turns out, I'm available to present this year. Either best picture or best director. You decide which. Oh, well, that's... that's very generous. Of course, I'm going to require a few things. I'd appreciate it if the Academy could pay for my hair and makeup and, of course, provide a car and chauffeur. Well, we don't do that for presenters. You will for me. I believe if Betty had said to even one reporter that she regretted Joe not getting a nod, all that unpleasantness would have gone away. She came across as cold and unsympathetic to some, but really she was nervous, terribly so.